Nigerian R&B singer Thames won the Dr. Bobby Jones Best Gospel or Inspirational Award for Me and You at the 2024 BET Awards. Reactions, especially from the Christian community, are still trailing Thames BET Gospel Music Award win. Take a look at what people are saying. Spiricoco Twitter at Spiricoco NG um, had quite a long one, uh, but let's see what we can take. He said, News came out yesterday that Thames, a secular artist, won the award for Best Gospel or Inspirational Award at the 2024 BET Awards. The song awarded as the Best Gospel Song features the artist herself in a sensual and erotic setting as projected through her costume, dances, and teasing in the music. There is no church that can play the song in their service. There is no choir that can perform the song in worship. There is no believer who can use the song in their private devotion. There is no Christian event. There is no Christian event that can invite Thames as a gospel minister. So, um, he had a very, very long one. So let's let's just scroll down and see um, the end part of what Spirit Coco NG is saying here. All right. Quite a long read, quite a long read with um, so many quotations. But let's just go down and see what Spirit Coco is saying there. James is a worldly singer. She is not a gospel artist. Her songs are not fit for the spiritual growth of Christians. They are bad for us. Lastly, please let us not listen to these worldly songs. They are detrimental to our sanctification. May God keep us. May he preserve the body of Christ who will be holy and by Christ who will be undefined in Jesus. Mighty name. Thanks. We could go to church there. All right. Solomon Bucci at solomon underscore which he said he said it's worrying that thames won the best gospel or inspirational category of the year she urged out maverick city music says a winners cake franklin and others gospel music is not inspirational music gospel music is believer edifying jesus glorifying and god praising mentioning god in a song doesn't make it gospel the metrics for gospel music should be stringent Categorizing gospel music and inspirational music together wasn't a mishap. It is an intentional attempt to undermine the power of the gospel. Any skilled musician can write inspirational, but that, but that isn't the gospel. Stop liberalizing the gospel. This explains why I'm skeptical about award shows for gospel ministers. The system is flawed and spiritual impact cannot be measured by human systems. Write songs sing to the glory of god and god will reward you human award systems are corrupt it is mostly a popularity contest patrick Doyle said i feel the pain of mainstream gospel artists who feel slighted that thames an evidently secular musician was awarded the bet award for best gospel song that said i believe it is about time that committed christians stop seeking validation from fickle institutions like the entertainment industry mafia which by the way is in the grip of satan distinguished kp at novi Vrest said the way the world plays with christianity is somehow they created a bet gospel award and gave it to thames it is so pathetic namdi at tweets by ZYL said, Thames won BT Gospel Art of the Year as how? Does she have any gospel song? All right. So, Ogben Yalu at Yada said, You see that BT Gospel inspirational category? It is our lukewarmness and acceptable Christianity that has led to this. Because how Thames won over Sese Winners and how the category is even called gospel or inspirational is our fault too. God help us. Uh, Looking at a BET article uh, on their website, we are left with the question, is gospel music, Christian music? Let us know in the comments. Is gospel music, Christian music?